From chili to silent auction items to fellowship, the community came together to support Rebecca Gustavich, a Helena first grade teacher who is battling a form of breast cancer called Paget's disease. Always here, people that I've known my whole life are here, people that I've never met are here. Everybody just wants help. I really think that somebody, everybody knows somebody who's been affected by breast cancer. Her friend Nikki Fennis said she organized the event and says she is overwhelmed with people's generosity. My friend has cancer and we need to raise money and people are just like, all right. Hello, their donations from local Helena residents. Ariel Meads helped organize the food and silent auction items. She says it's moments like this that make her feel proud to be a Montanan. I'm not really sure what drives this particular community to be as generous and giving and compassionate as they are. It's really beautiful to see a community especially one that is so welcoming as a hometown to bond together. Rebecca's daughters were also grateful for the love and support they felt from their friends and the community. First found out that she had cancer, it was absolutely devastating. And um, I had no idea that this many people were gonna show up. So when I came, when I pulled up out here, just now with my son and saw all these cars, it brought tears to my eyes. The community came together and everybody pitched it in their own way and it means a lot to our family. Helena is Rebecca's hometown and she said she couldn't be more proud to call the city home. And in the end, the event raised more than $5,000. That's enough to cover Rebecca's first trip. The outpouring of love and um, support is super humbling and just makes me feel really grateful that I live here. And she says she'll take something else with her as she starts her treatment. It makes me feel very, very loved. You know, it's it's great to live in a place like Helena, Montana, where we get people who just, they just care. People just care. In Helena, Phoenix O'Connor, MTN News.